sent to heal the contrite heart, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners to repentance, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. You sit at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to life eternal. Amen. Let us pray. By your help, we beseech you, Lord our God. May we walk eagerly in that same charity with which, out of love for the world, your Son handed himself over to death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, his Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. For this 
we remain with the Lord. There is mercy and fullness of redemption. My soul is waiting for the Lord. I count on his word. My soul is longing for the Lord more than the watchman for daybreak. Let the watchman count on daybreak and Israel on the Lord. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Because with the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption, Israel indeed he will redeem from all its iniquity. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. People who are interested only in spiritual things can never be pleasing to God. Your interests, however, are not in the unspiritual, but in the spiritual, since the Spirit of God has made His home in you. In fact, unless you possess the Spirit of Christ, you would not belong to Him. Though your body may be dead, it is because of sin, but if Christ is in you, then your spirit is life itself because you have been justified. And if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, then he who raised Jesus from the dead will give life to your own mortal bodies through his spirit living in you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me will never die. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to you, Lord. The sisters, Martha and Mary, sent this message to Jesus. Lord, the man you love is ill. On receiving the message, Jesus said, This sickness will not end in death, but in God's glory, and through it the Son of God will be glorified. Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus, yet when he heard that Lazarus was ill, he stayed where he was for two more days before saying to the disciples, Let us go to Jerusalem. On arriving, Jesus found that Lazarus had been in the tomb for four days already. When Martha heard that Jesus had come, she went to meet him. Mary remained sitting in the house. Martha said to Jesus, If you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now, Whatever you ask of God, he will grant you. Your brother, said Jesus to her, will rise again. Martha said, I know he will rise again at the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. If anyone believes in me, even though he dies, he will live. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, said Martha. I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who was to come into this world. Jesus said in great distress, with a sigh that came straight from the heart, Where have you put him? They said, See how much he loved him. But there were some who remarked, He opened the eyes of the blind man. Could he not have prevented this man's death? Still sighing, Jesus reached the tomb. 
It was a cave, a stone, to close the opening. Jesus said, Take the stone away. Martha said to him, Lord, by now you will smell. This is the fourth day. Jesus replied, Have I not told you that if you believe you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. Then Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you for hearing my prayer. I knew indeed that you always hear me, but I speak for the sake of all these who stand around me, so that they may believe it was you who sent me. When he had said this, he cried in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, his feet and hands bound with bands of stuff and a cloth round his face. Jesus said to them, Unbind him and let him go free. Many of the Jews who had come to visit Mary and had seen what he did believed in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear friends in the Lord. The Lord is good all the time and all the time. The Lord is good. Today is the second Sunday since we locked our church and perhaps all the churches in England and Wales. Nothing will stop us from giving thanks to God. Nothing will stop us from trusting in God. Nothing will stop us from offering Mass and from praying to our God who is alive. Yes, God is alive. But sometimes, perhaps almost always, God never acts according to the dictates of man. That is what is demonstrated in the story of the raising of Lazarus. Lazarus was a beloved friend of Jesus. So was the sister Mary. So was the sister Martha. And that is why when Lazarus was ill, Martha sent messengers to Jesus to go and tell him, Master, the one you love is ill. One would have expected Jesus Christ to act very promptly, to leave immediately and go to see Lazarus and help him, but he did not. He spent two more days, two more days before leaving for Judea. And when he got there, Martha ran out to him. Master, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. If you had been here, my brother would not have died. That would have sounded like someone who had lost hope. But no, she didn't stop there. She went on to say, but I know even now, Whatever you ask God, he will grant you. My dear friends, let us not stop at the first phrase of Martha's statement. Because I know many of us are speaking like Martha today. Lord, if you had been here, we wouldn't be facing this. Where is God in all this? Lord, are you listening to us? Are you hearing the cries of your people? Where are you? Yes, we may be tempted to ask all these questions. But remember, Martha went further. But even now I know this is faith in action. Even now I know. My dear friends, even now I personally, Father Patrick knows. You should know. And I believe that all of us know that even now, Whatever the Lord Jesus asks of God the Father, he will grant. But Jesus asked 
Do you believe? Do you believe? Jesus is asking me and asking you, do you believe? Do you believe that I am the resurrection and the life? Do you believe that I hold the keys of life and death? Do you believe that what I speak will be told? Do you remember that I had said to you, I will be with you until the end of time? My dear friends, Jesus is present with us in this situation. Just as he knew how ill Lazarus was, he knows what we are going through. Just as God knew the suffering of the children of Israel in Egypt for 300 years plus, so God knows what we are going through. And just as he heard the prayers of the children of Israel and heard their cries, so God is hearing our prayers and hearing our cries. But you know what? His time has not yet come. His time has not yet come. Just as Jesus Christ took two days before he went, and by the time he got there, Lazarus was dead. Lazarus was buried for four days. I want to tell us, my dear friends, God is never late. God is never late. In this matter of COVID-19 or coronavirus or whatever we want to call it, God is present. He's there with you in your house. He's there with me in my house. He's present in this church. His glory fills this church. And I want to assure us, my dear friends, do not be afraid. Do not panic. Do not be dismayed. Do not be depressed. For God is present and is in this. And just as he gave life to Lazarus, so will God bring the light back. So will God open the doors of our church again. So will our streets be full of life. So will all of us be happy once again. Perhaps we shall learn a lot more. We shall value his presence. We shall value the Eucharist more. We shall value our families, our friends, people generally. We shall value what we have been deprived of at this moment. Let us remain in this desert with our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us be patient as Martha and Mary were so that when the Lord comes, we will be able to share in the joy of the resurrection that he will give to us. The Lord is good all the time and all the time. The Lord is good. Amen.
the spread of this virus among God's people. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We place into the hands of God our doctors, nurses, medical officers, and all those who are on the front line of managing this situation, that God may protect them, that God may guard them, that God may cover them with the blood of his Son, so that they too may not be infected, and they may offer the best care and services to those who are sick. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We lift up those who have been infected, and all those who are sick in various hospitals and places, where they are at, that the healing hands of God may reach down upon them, and grant them healing and speed of recovery and boldness. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We commend all, all, all of us who are at home, who have been locked down, isolated, and excluded from one another. That God our Father, through His Son Jesus Christ, may be our comfort. May be our solace, may be our joy, may be our happiness, that we may be able to live creatively and never be afraid until this comes to pass. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We commend all the dead into the hands of God. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let your perpetual light shine upon them. We may offer our prayers in the silence. Commend our prayers into the hands of our Blessed Mother as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our life. Eternal and merciful Father, thank you for the gift of this day and the gift of our faith. Thank you even for the situation in the world. We know that you are on top of this situation, and we surrender all to you. May your will be done in this and through this. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for it is through your goodness that we have received this bread that we now offer. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. the mystery of this water and wine, that we come to share the divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for it is through your goodness that we have received this wine that we now offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands become for us a spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Almighty and eternal Father, we humbly ask you to receive us. Lord, wash away my sins. Cleanse me of all my iniquities. Pray, my dear friends that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, who are good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. Hear us, Almighty God, and having instilled in your servants the teaching of the Christian faith, 
graciously purify them by the working of this sacrifice. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts and lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just that you and our salvation always and every way to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as true man, he wept for Lazarus, his friend, and as eternal God raised him from the tomb, just as taking pity on the human race, he leads us by sacred mysteries to new life. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with us in one chorus of exalted praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift we pray by sitting down the spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring heart to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, Paul, and Patrick, his auxiliaries, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep with the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph as spouse. With the blessed apostles and all the saints who have placed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. 
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed of and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My dear friends, behold the Lamb of God. This is Jesus Christ. This is he who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed indeed are all of us who are invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should come into my soul, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of the Lord Jesus Christ be the person who must tell you. Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanks be made, be every moment thine. O Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanks be made, be every moment thine. O Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanks be made, be every moment thine. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we may always be counted among the members of Christ in whose body and blood we have communion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. 
bow your heads and pray for God's blessings. Bless, O oh Lord, your people who long for the gifts.